it's listening to the birds. You're listening to the birds, Ray. Happiest star, everybody. So excited it's the spring equinox. I really am. I am not a winter lover. I really am not. We're not, are we? We like being outside and I don't like the cold. My Astara, what does it consist of? It consists of a birthday. It's about thoughts of becoming a mom and um, which all links to the fertility of Astara and that idea of new birth, new beginnings. For me, it's marked with actually becoming a mother. Um, so Tilly's birthday is a huge part of Ostara for me. Okay. And Ostara, 15 years years ago, is the day that I became a mommy. So birthday celebrations are a big part. Let me walk you through my kitchen and into my lounge. This is all waiting for her to return home. A birthday stash of joy. She loves opening presents. Dogs can sense there's something going on. So in about an hour, my kids are on their way back from their dad's for a party lunch. It's the first weekend that they've had at their dad's. Oh my gosh, for months. First time, first weekend child free for months. But it just happens to be Tilly's birthday. So they're back here for lunch in about an hour to open presents. We're going to have a little party. So this is part of a star for me. It has been every year since I became a mommy, look there she is, all those years ago, 15 years ago now, and she's just been a joy ever since, this one's Tilly, this is Poppy, there she is at school, <laughs> and if I show you these pictures, look there she is, all those years ago, with a baby Busby, so yeah, it, it's it, this wall for me is this is all part of a star. Uh, that idea of um, celebration, a new start, New Year's beginning. A table set up, ready to go for all the party food. Tilly's favourite, all her LOL stuff. I've got birthday banners up <sighs> and cleaning the house. I've had. A two-day spring clean of the house as well. Um, it might be, it might not look organised and clean to some because I'm not minimalist. But there you go. Um, got my, look at this. This is a spring wall. It's the spring in a spring of a mattress that I took off Poppy's cabin bed, which is in the art studio. I'll go show you. So celebrating birthdays and remembering becoming a mom is part of a star for me, which fits in. Um, and cleaning. So there's Poppy's old cabin bed. She had a room makeover at Christmas and um, this was a cabin bed. I didn't want to sell it because I, I got it really cheap secondhand. Um, so I just reassembled it down here, but without the top mattress. So the spring has now become a magic wall in the lounge and the top is now full of boxes of storage of different things. Gosh, there are beads. And there's drawings that I've yet to frame. That's a huge ink drawing. Really should be in a frame to protect it, but I haven't got round to it yet. There's material. There's... Just all odds and odds and sods that I've collected. There's wool. This is journaling stickers. There's different containers there that I might use. I've got storage up there. I've also got storage in there. And I've been organising all of this, doing the typical spring cleaning. I've cleaned the house. I've washed floors. But there's loads more storage in there. There's different material. There's art books. There's stones and silk flowers and all sorts in there. I've got all my old lace up there and some yarn. This used to be a knitting machine table. This table here that's on top of my big desk. This is an old dining room table that I picked up for next to nothing. And this knitting machine table, not only does it give me another shelf, but it also gives me somewhere to fix my camera if I'm doing top-down filming, which has been really useful. 
I've got lots of different nail polishes here. These were for painting the glass beads to try and make these eyes. So, and I've got shelves at the back that have got um, canvases and inks and pens. And I've got moon water there for my watercolour painting. There's all glues and sprays and stuff in there. I've got artwork out. That one is one that's just been framed. That's my tarot journal I'm in the middle of making. Putting the cabin bed down here also gave me another desk here. That's a watercolour painting I'm in the middle of. So there's loads of storage and desk space over here. This was this seat here was made out of the bottom of an old chest of drawers and that's full of old material. Loads of paper storage here. There's cardboard paper there and paper down there. And a bookcase and an art altar. More storage all up here. And projectors because I can light this room up like a night sky at night. I've got some exercise equipment. Yeah, this, this crate here, I got this off free cycle and put it on wheels so it can be wheeled around as a coffee table if needed. But it's also got all my power tools and stuff for the gardening. And you can see here, this is another thing I do at Astara. I've just been sorting through, um, just been sorting through seeds. I've just ordered all these seeds. So although I say my budget for the garden is zero, I don't count seeds or soil. I had to buy soil last year. So yeah, I've got loads of lovely um, seeds for the garden there. And these are seeds that I've been collecting. Those are the zinnia seeds. Going through seed catalogues and ordering seeds is part of Astara for me. I ordered a load of zinnias as well as collecting zinnia seeds. Um, the sunflowers, different types of sunflowers. So I've got that one. That is a giant single. Sun, isn't that beautiful? Look at the colours in there. These are Harlequin. I grew these last year, they were gorgeous. And look at this sunflower I found. Look at that, Mrs. Mars. Doesn't that look amazing? Those are sunflowers for the kids. Oh, there's more here. Yeah, there's a dwarf, a copper queen. Um, that's it for sunflowers, I think. We have a competition, me and the kids, so we'll plant that up over the next few days as well. Zinnias I adored last year, so I bought a whole load of different zinnias this year. To absolutely, I want to fill the garden with them. These are what I planted last year and they were amazing. Also, these were amazing last year, um, so I bought more of those. And also... These dahlias, the Bishop's Children dahlias, these were beautiful. And these cactus, these are easier to grow in my garden. More zinnias, more zinnias. Um, these are new for this year, as are these. So these are two different types. I just like the look of those. And then for sprinkling around the garden and for Tilly's secret garden, as well as a lot of these sunflowers, I've got a load of wildflower seeds. These are to go under that swing frame of hers. She, she, she did something like this last year and it was spectacular. But also I've got some prairie mix, which um, it, it looked like they're more like hedgerows. So where I've got the big conifer in the middle of the garden, I thought I could try sewing some along the base of there. Are you okay, Lulu? Yeah. Um, and then cleaning, so it's cleaning, birthday celebrations, seed planning, that's it really. But I thought I would do an art studio vlog because, because it's Ostara and my art studio and my garden and nature, they're very linked. I always say that when I'm not working in my art studio creating, my garden becomes my art studio. So, uh, studio tour. Let me do a slow pan round first. We've got a garden door there. Um, and we've got one area here, one area in there. We've got an area here. And then I've got a desk there, my big long desk there. I've got some exercise equipment here. Storage and my bookcase there. So, and that's the doorway into the kitchen. 
These double doors also open up onto the garden as well. So this area here is my sewing area. Listen to the birds outside. This was an old Singer sewing machine. It does have the old machine folded away in there. Non-working, but I use it just as a sewing desk. Um, this is a machine I picked up on FreeCycle, which I'm still trying to get to work because my Benina broke and I just simply can't afford a new one. Uh, but I might have to just bite the bullet soon because I'm a textile artist and I need a sewing machine. Um, I have this cabinet here was abandoned by lodgers when I used to rent property. It's actually an old like bathroom cupboard, but that's full of charms and bits of my uh, bits for sewing machines and stuff. So this is all sewing stuff. There's all cottons. Um, these are seeds in here. I need to look seeds from last year that I've still got. So this room does act really, oh my God, I forgot. I'm like, oh my God, what have I got in there? So this is something I need to do. You can see the state of these. These are often in and out of the greenhouse. So, oh my God, loads of seeds. So there is a, um, a crossover here between the garden and my art studio, which is really apt because oh garden becomes my my art space for creating and then the studio takes over and they alternate so it's really apt that I've got loads of seeds in here um these are cupboards that used to be oh my god there's more seeds seriously dogs tennis ball which hide away otherwise they constantly go crazy so these are um units I used to have in the kitchen um, <laughs> do you think I might have a problem? Boxes full of old lace, things that I would use to sew with. Um, yep, yeah, so that's my sewing area. There's all bits of old vintage fabric in there. This area is no, I've screened it off. Um, it's the intention is for it to be my painting corner. Last year, I decided to learn to paint, and I haven't got the kids paints in there this is a little box I made myself this box was my tester to see if this effect would work for the fences out there so I made this box out of scrap wood and I keep all, all my oil paints and acrylics in there and you can see that I had to rejig the technique until it worked and um, I've got all my brushes there I've got some more tools for the garden, things that need gluing back together for the garden. The neighbour passed me a um, lantern for the garden. There's bulbs down there that need to go in on cotton. So it's like garden work and um, art stuff all combined. But it's really lovely in here because when all these pots start to flower, you've got a whole froth of flowers around here. I'm embarrassed to show you this, but I'm going to. This canvas has been on the this easel for two years. It was my attempt to do an oil painting, my first one ever. And I just couldn't, it was supposed to be the base layer, but I just couldn't get the, couldn't get the face to not look muddy and I abandoned it. But I'm gonna go back to it. I am gonna get the paints out this year. So move out the way, Ray. let me come out. So this is my sewing area and my painting area are here. Over here is my seating area. The dogs lie here. They love this because it gets the sun. This unit here has only just gone in in the last few months. A scanner here. This little cupboard here used to have all the wellies in for the garden, but it's now got all the chemicals in for the hot tub. And I keep all different sorts of papers in that drawer over there. So any papers that I collect, this, or any, anything. This is where they all get shoved in here. I've got all sorts of different papers all in there. So it's a great space. It's beautiful to open up the doors in the middle of summer. All the ceiling has got, uh, is fully, has got full blinds that pull up and down to keep the heat out. I've got a massive disco ball up there that turns. And at night, I've got a, a, 
a night sky that goes on the on the ceiling i'll have to come back at night and show you what it looks like it's fabulous okay guys so that was a quick tour it was a quick tour of the art studio i'm going to call it my first ostara art studio vlog rupert get down and just a little chat about what are some of the jobs i i do at ostara so birthday celebrations seed planning seed buying and cleaning okay guys thanks for watching my very first art studio vlog and i will see you next time bye